Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. It's been a busy last couple days here, and I've shot some video. I'm going to put together a couple videos that I want to get out and show everybody uh, some of the things I'm doing. Ran across a couple things a little different. This right here is my very first printer that I ever got, and it was sitting over here in the corner and I saw it and thought well let's get it out and print something and I decided let's just go ahead and print one of the first print jobs that I ran on it so I did that and uh, did a little video on that so I'm gonna put that together and edit it and get it going did a little stuff on King Rune since some people were wondering what happened to my King Rune printers Someone mentioned in one of the last videos I did what happened to all your King Rune printers because at the new print farm I don't have any King Rune printers down there but I still have the old print farm here at the house where I am now I have several King Rune printers here and I do run them and uh, so I did a little video showing some of that too and everybody or a couple of people wanting to know what I did with my King Room printers. Well, they didn't go anywhere. They're still here and working hard as usual. But up here, I don't run the printers anymore at night. I just run them during the day. So it's late in the evening and everything's shut down now. It's quiet up here. I thought it'd be a good time to have a little chat. Looking back on all this, it's been an exhausting year and a half, almost two years now, since I first got the idea, first got my first 3D printer, started coming up with these ideas and making things. It's uh, been interesting. I've always liked challenges. I like learning new things. I like figuring things out. There's definitely been a lot of that since I've been involved with this. It does ha take a toll on you, and I'm not a spring chicken anymore. A couple weeks ago, I turned 74 now. So I'm trying to keep from overdoing it too much. It's gotten to where it's there's so much going on, and I know I need help, and I kept I tried to discipline myself to keep everything going without bringing in outside help until I reached a certain milestone. And that was, uh, that would be when sales reach a certain point. Well, now that we have the vehicle in place for sales and everything, it looks like that time's finally uh, here or on the, on the horizon. So I'm starting to make some plans to get a little bit of help and that will help a little bit because so much of the work that I'm doing at this point is tedious and boring and it's very hard to stay motivated in working on those things. Now you start talking to me about experimenting around with larger nozzles and creating ways of printing and mixing uh, different filaments, flexible filaments with PLA or with PETG and so forth and things like that. I'm really interested in stuff like that, but that doesn't, that's not going to pay the bills and that's not going to keep the business uh, going. So we have to do these other things and I realize that we'll keep on going in that direction and getting some help and hopefully that will uh, give me a little bit of relief. I look back and think about all the different things that I have been able to do this past year and a half, two years, and it's been exciting. I th wish that I could have done all of this when I was 35 or 40 years old, when I was a lot more energetic. I could have, I think I could have had this whole business much farther along 
than it is now. However, we did have COVID to contend with. That affected everybody. That slowed a lot of things down and made things more difficult. And it's still around, but it doesn't seem to be impacting my business that much at this point. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to get into this and do what I've done so far. It's enjoyable. It's rewarding. It's something that you can share with people. And I still meet people every day that don't understand or know how 3D printers work or what 3D printing really is. They hear about it, but they don't really know. For me to sit down and try to explain it to them or to show them, you can tell that it's it's like 50 years ago when we were sitting down trying to explain to people how computers worked. <laughs> A lot of time has passed. Is It was the late 70s when I got started in computers, about 45 years ago. But I wanted to just sit back and relax. Another thing that I've enjoyed about having this YouTube channel is having the interaction with people out there who have subscribed to my channel, who comment on my videos, who offer assistance, and um, who are just considered friends. And it's good to have those friends out there. Several of them have asked at different times what my background has been, what I've done and so forth. And a couple of them referred me to some YouTube videos that people posted where people would talk about their past and their history, kind of a, an autobiography. I mentioned to them, okay, when I get 1,500 subscribers, I'll do a video or a series of videos on my background, my history and let you know what I've experienced and what I base some of my decisions and some of the crazy things that I may do sometimes in some of these videos. A few videos just going through some of my past history might be interesting to a few people. I've had some interesting moments in my life, I believe, and uh, some of them have influenced me quite a bit, so I'm willing to share those. I have a lot of younger subscribers out there that watch my videos and comment. I really appreciate it. It helps my ego quite a bit to uh, feel that there are young people that are willing to take the time to look at what I'm doing and watch and listen to what I have to say. That's pretty good. It's always good to, to listen to people and it doesn't matter if they're older, younger, everybody has something and ideas and some things to say, and it's always good to listen. That's, that's the way it is with my sons. I know my sons have listened to me over the years and they comment, of course on birthday, all the birthday cards say how, you know, oh, you've been such an inspiration and everything. But they're the men they are today because of the choices that they've made. And if I've influenced them in those choices in the least little bit, I'm well rewarded for that. Happy printing from New Tech Inventors.